Good morning, Sneaky. Hey, good morning, I've heard you've Sneaky. been up for quite a while. Uh, it's actually the afternoon, but thank you. Did you guys see yesterday's games? Videos, you watched them, right? Fucking, I popped into like a thread and they were just dumping on fake god. What happened? He got hit on so hard. Okay. This is not a really controversial opinion. Fake God's one of the worst, or maybe the worst player in LCS. It wasn't he just lost, so Summit blind pick Gnar, and then he countered with Kennen. And then he just got, like, completely fisted in lane. It was going okay. <clears throat> but then he got, like, pushed off his turret and dove by LeBlanc. And he easily <laughs> could have lived, but he legit just kept wasting his ult and flash when he was already dead. Like, he got LeBlanc chained, and he could have flashed the chain to be completely fine. Instead, he flashes at the very end of the chain, so he still gets rooted, and then wastes his ult and dies. Ooh, and then he just, like, oh kept wasting God. ult, flash, and dying his cannon, like, the entire game. Yeah. He had he had only Sork Boot, Proto Belt, or whatever, Rocket Belt, when Summit had fucking Trainee Force Hullbreaker. <laughs> yeah. It was legit like Summit was fucking just gifted a free item. Mm -hmm. And then he just kept getting solo killed. It was, it was dirty. I'm not gonna lie. I played with Fake God Cannon, and he griefed my my game. And then, but 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 the game before that, I played with him. Uh, he played Sion, and he was actually not bad. Like I'm not even memeing. Like he actually would. I think it all comes down oh? to like, oh wow, they're not there anymore. But that was a weird. That read. was. That what is that a scout by TL? So like TL that knows that. Be. Yeah, dude. So, I, TL knows I've that Bob Frost that. likes to play for this ward. Um. Like, Bob Frost loves to play for this ward, and then a team that plays for that ward would then just walk up and, like, ward enemy blue. Actually, it might make a bit of sense because of Ezreal Karma. Yeah, exactly. Like, you you know Ezreal Karma is going to mm. play for the bush, level one. So you know they're going to all walk down there and put that ward down. And then, naturally, maybe Dig has this tendency of, like, doing this, uh, you know, well, walking. It looks like they had that not... ward in bot river bush, so they, like, saw yeah. everyone oh, go up. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Wait, okay. Bio could die there. Oh, wow. That's not a commit? Oh, shit. I thought could that was die? ignited kill. Yeah, I'm I mean, it's, it's Ash. Like, anytime you get a... Anytime you get one auto off, you can just force it all in. Like, you can just keep walking Wait, at them. Wait, do we have her slow at level one, or does she need her yeah. Q for the slow? No, no, no. It's it's level one. Yeah. Okay. Q, Q isn't slow anymore. Like, it's, with the active yeah, thing. Yeah, I, I it, knew like, there was something about it. Yeah. But wait. Oh, is this, is this a real play by River? Nope. I'm confused right now. He's level two he versus level three. He might actually just die. Isn't Hecarim Wait. so insanely oh. advantaged when he's healing off Why the... Is... Oh? Where's Bjergsen in all this? He's just dead as fuck. What yeah, the I mean, fuck? He, he, he was catching no, he a was wave on his he turret. He was catching a wave on his turret. Yeah, I think that's completely Santorin's bad. He needs to just walk away there. Hmm. Bjergsen even kind of fought LeBlanc too. He just missed his charm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I... I mean... I'd have to see it again. That that seemed weird to me that Viego can actually do that play. It did, yeah. River, dude, River is like just one of those players. I swear to fucking God, this guy is like always invading at the most random times. I don't know how he knows. Like, he just has like amazing game sense or he studies a lot of VODs because like he just knows when he can invade the enemy jungle. Like, I'm not so convinced often that was a this. great time to invade. Let's see it again. Yeah, I I, I agree. It's like it looks so troll because he's level two to three, so he's literally down. It's like they a know he goes here. Yeah. Okay, Bjergsen misses charm. And now, I, I think he should be following LeBlanc. He should be following LeBlanc. Yeah, like like fuck the creeps in your I, turret. I, this is literally yeah, a double a kill for Dio. I think Bjergsen grief this. Yeah, it, it's a weird. Santorin's path. so much stronger than River right here. Like he's got his Q ramped up as well. <clears throat> if it's not just a full on two v one, that's the freest. Yeah, I could see. I, I still think Santorin path pretty bad. Like, he, I, I he wanted to like wedge himself in the in the Raptors, but probably not the right place to be there. Although I, I totally agree, I think that I think Bjergsen definitely could have just given up two two range minions of the turret to, to just fucking move. You're it's still the fact gonna get that they saw, If they yeah. didn't see Diego coming and they caught him oh. off guard, then what Bjergsen did make sense. But like, 
This was a super obvious play. Oh my god, that stun hit? That stun. Wait, what was that Viego stun? Wow. Yeah, that, that was... That was crazy. That was crazy. Honestly, that's just one of those, like, angles where you can't do anything about that death. River's just too powerful, I think. Yeah. I mean, this is... I, I feel like this matchup... I mean, they, they can maybe kill Karma. Is this, maybe. is this an angle? Yeah, oh, yeah, an no angle flash. Angle because of Karma. For sure gone. But, like, bye bye. Feels bad, man. What do you get off this, though? Do they go dragon? Uh. I think this is no. a good dragon angle. Maybe not. No, no, no way. No way. Hans Samba. I wonder what River thinks about playing with Fate God. <laughs> um, River's like. I a pretty fucking impressive jungler and fake god has been having a rough one so actually i at, i asked vincent about that biofrost about that and he because like i i would also be so mad right because usually like when you're really really good you have a lot of expectations of your teammates mm -hmm. like you obviously don't want your talent and like if you have if you're in really good form you don't want it to be wasted by like kind of getting griefed yeah and he actually said that River's really chill. Like he's really? super, super. He's super relaxed. Like he just grinds. He he doesn't like. He's not really negative. He doesn't really like uh, try to make anyone feel bad or put him down. And he's like. He tries to be like really objective in the interview. Like he doesn't really say like, oh, you, you, you're really bad or like you, you always fuck this up. He'll he'll just say stuff like, oh, this plays better or like you should just do this next time. Mm. I, re I respect that because that takes a lot of like mental fortitude to just like stay positive. Yeah. True. How much of it? Do they have a translator? How much of it is like not being able to fully speak his mind? There's also non-verbal communication, right? Like his I think English you can always isn't tell. Good enough to flame people. No, like <laughs> even if even if like he wasn't able to perfectly communicate his thoughts, it's like you can tell when someone's mad at you. Yeah. You can just definitely. tell the way looking at you, the way that their tone. Um, it's just yeah, yeah, yeah like the, the way it. they react to stuff. Like when you get if you get solo killed, like like if they he's sigh, just, like, fucking sighing, like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Again. Man. Oh, fake god! Oh. Does he get mega? Oh, oh, he gets mega. Actually, oh pretty good stun. God. Oh, Bigot. wow! He cheated Bjergsen. Wait, Yo. that was so fucking destroyed. Oh my god. That was yeah. nice by fake god right there. Okay, but like, they're actually idiots. They're diving a Meganar on the turret. What do they think is going to happen? I think they're oh, did you opening... see Did you see Kor's thing there? Ooh. Oh no, my god! Yo, Kor did, Kor kind of did the thing where like, you, you QR and it like. I'll have to it see is, it. it. It's like a weird angle. Here, I'll, I'll just ulti. pull back. They're not going to replay it. I don't trust. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he ults, he ults Ezreal, right? But, like, it doesn't just go immediately sideways. It kind of goes, like, the way he's yeah. facing first. Kind of yeah. like the flash thing. That was fucking... That shit is so OP. It's so OP. I love it. I mean, he didn't need to do it. It didn't change anything, but, like, it was just cool. He had the confidence. And them replaying it, because I want to see it. Yeah, I, I, hope they, I hope they replay it. Oh, oh never nope, mind. they're, they're replaying gonna... the other one. Okay, okay, but, like, let's talk about this play first, too. Because, because when they're diving him, it's like... Maybe they just disrespect him so much. What do you think he's gonna do? He's gonna press R, man. He's gonna they, press I, R. I think they're literally banking on him fucking it up. Like, like yeah, it's actually disrespect fat disrespect. He's yeah. going to press R. If your finger is not on flash there, then you're fucking trolling. That's all there is to say. If your finger is not on flash there and you're pl and you're playing, uh, you're Brixen, you're just trolling. Yeah, that was not hard to flash at all. Pure disrespect, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think he definitely didn't want to position himself next to the wall. I think I, I get why he did because he wanted the angle for the charm where like Fake God couldn't juke it as well, but he did line himself up for the ult. No, but like I, I don't even care about lining himself for the ulti. Like you know he's gonna press R. Just have your finger on flash. Like you can always flash Nar ulti on reaction. It's not hard to react to. It's very very slow. Eleven. They didn't replay it by the way. And <laughs> fucking knew it. Close. Unlucky. Can't trust. It was basically oh, going for another play on Fake God. Oh, he is not expecting nice. this one. Pretty fucked here. He'd be looking a little fucked here. Actually, get close or to he's a just kill. Oh my! Oh, oh. Wait, did his rocket Santorin not? Blip yeah, up? that's fucked up. 
Damn. That was pretty fucking close. I was gonna say the the thing videos was like he hooked Karma, and then when he R'd, the R like like he R'd Ezreal who is the left. I'm done counting. And the ulti started basically directly in front of him. Like mm. the Nautilus, which where which Karma was, so it knocked up Karma without him having to ult Karma. I see. So like his body think, didn't turn uh, to do it. I think if you play Nautilus, the mechanic is really just like if you hook somebody and you ult anyone in any direction behind you to the side, it will always hit the person in front of like it will always at least hit the guy that you hooked. I don't know why yeah. it's like coded that way where it will like it has like a directional first like pulse to the ulti, but it's also with auto attacks too. Oh, oh! Wow, and he's dead. <laughs> Holy shit! That was the, nice. The arrow was very nice, like off the GP ults. I didn't, I didn't expect Neo to die there too. Okay, GG. Yeah. GG. TL wins now. If you I have an Ezreal from a bot lane and you're oh. not winning lane, you're in, in for a fucking rough game. Yeah, and they had every advantage too. I mean, they ended up with that early kill, and then they just died to a stupid timing. Like, did they buff yeah, Ash? That was really awesome. Yeah, this the missile speed. So it's harder to react to now. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if that's all it was, but that was the most noticeable because like that shit was so slow before that like you were actually. You're kind of trolling if you got hit by it and you had like any movement skills. Uh, but now it's kind of like almost like a Jinx rocket on the speed. Oh, did they both see? It, you probably it's just have to do it familiarity, you like. right? Yeah, you, yeah. Like for me, when I play mobile games, like that on screen joystick is just the worst shit ever. Like, mm. feels so fucking wrong. But if you're a kid who just grew up with that, you don't have anything to compare it to. That you could definitely just be used to it. Yeah. Another whiff, but yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. there is the Gurgen sin. He watched Faker on Ari last night, and now he's inspired. She's no, pretty. Did fucking you guys watch strong. any of that series last night? No. no, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it on the stream later though. Blue is kind of fed. Can he solo carry this one? I feel like if there's or one champ Matt, that can solo Matthew. carry from ahead, it, it's probably LeBlanc. Yeah, depends on their champs usually. Yeah, true. Not bad champs for her this game though. Ash completely immobile. Ari can get one shot. Yeah, I, I think also like the amount of threats that. Oh no, blue! I saw that. Um, the amount of threat she has on her, like if she can actually go in and just do her full combo in people's faces without getting CC'd. It's pretty impressive. I think Nautilus yeah, Ash, yeah. though, make her have to, like, respect that a lot. Perfect. If she gets hit by either of them, she's just fucking gone. A rando hook. Dead as hell. You guys still raiding in WoW together? Of course. Yep. And you and Sneaker, are you playing Lost Ark and Final Fantasy along with WoW? <laughs> like, are you are you doing? I'm the MMO like, fiend. Yeah. Uh, dude, I, I stop FF for now. Did shitload of reclears on mm -hmm. full bit full bis. I see. I see. So we good? All the rank one parses. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Too fucking mm -hmm. good. Too easy. Oh. Wait, damage logs are illegal, man. Oh I don't my. know what you're saying. True. Never deal damage. Oh my god, that was a fucking weird engage. Jacob just said, fuck this shit, man. I'm tired of being alive. They actually get This does not look for good that. for Dig. No, Fake God actually just did a play that got his entire team killed after they secured Dragon. Like, how embarrassed are you right now? It, like, oh my god, we can go, 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 go. And then you just watch your entire team die instantly. You're like, oh shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I, wouldn't, guys. I wouldn't say that's like fake over. God's call, but that was pretty terrible from Dig for sure. I don't know why they chase like that. 
The only person they had low on that one. was Hecarim. Like, Hecarim got chunky trying to, like, run in. And he got pushed out. And then Dig chased him after that. And just killed themselves. Yeah, I yeah. think they should just play it patient. Like, play for poke. Here we go. I don't know how Where this is they not the one starting fault, dragon. Though, like... I don't know. I don't see why they're starting dragon. They have There's a way too far. Ulti, flash thump. ulti, boom! Uh. Yeah, not a... the sickest ult. Yeah, that was a terrible angle. And it just trolled also, engage in general. When you factor in like the vision they have, you. All CL is running into the line bush that they have pinked, and Dig doesn't really have vision to follow. Yeah. Seemed a little fucking unlucky. I mean, I guess that is third dragon for Dig, though. I think if they wait for LeBlanc to get 16 death I'm cap, done counting. Like, you know, just hold their control till then, it's going to be actually hard for TL to play. Maybe not anymore, because they just fucking aced him and got Baron, but... I think before that would have been good. Perfect. Mm hmm. What's he got then, huh? Oh, does he steal? Oh, Ooh. not quite. Have we talked so about close. this game at all? <laughs> like one yeah, time. no, we have. I mean, anyone who's watching the game knows that it's been over ever since fucking Teal got Baron and just like has been shitting on them ever since. But oh, oh. wait. Oh. Oh. That was the sick escape by Neo there. Damn, dude. Those what reactions. a crazy error, dude. He hits those. Yeah, man, this is the thing that I've definitely been noticing in League recently, where if the winning team doesn't actually get early dragons, games just take fucking forever. It's so it's just so hard to close out games without fucking soul. Mm -hmm. Is that a problem they should fix, or just something that happens? I don't know. I mean, it's... Like, there was this fucking giga throw yesterday by Immortals where they were extremely ahead, but they just weren't taking dragons when they had the opportunity to, and they ended up losing. Sounds about right. And I don't know. I feel like team... That's kind of why I was thinking about that early play for them to just rush the dragon, because it's just, the, in my opinion, the best way to win. I guess if you don't feel like the other team outscales you, it's fine to give them up, but... Games just can take a while. Wait, so, yes, I think... Ezreal is Essence and Sunder. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck, Neo? Oh, no! <laughs> no way. Oh, no Neo! No way. I am... What the fuck? He doesn't give a fuck. This is like back in the day when people were buying like Mob Mamortius and like... What is the other one? Sterics together? This and, is and probably like, worse, just... dude. No, this is definitely worse. This, like... I'm not even sure what, what happens. Which one takes priority? I don't know. Is I don't it know, calculate? Dude. I think it usually just does everyone just more damage. No way, really? The game's that smart? I think so. Yeah. Oh, he's dead as hell. I mean, most of the time when you just want Sunder. I feel like the Sunder proc is better than the... Hardly anyone goes Sunder SS1. anymore on Ezreal. Like, people just go... The fucking giga damage builds or yeah yeah i mean i just mean like Trinity. between Trinity. those two procs not not yeah. talking about like which one you should be building yeah wouldn't this under proc just do more damage probably yeah probably yeah oh charm flash oh. damn i feel like neo probably wishes he had cleanse or qss this game he has just Perhaps. been getting fucking railed by arrows i think he needs and... like a trinity this game to go with this build <laughs> yeah and Wait. then he could round it out, replace uh, boost with Lich Bane at the end. Oh, <laughs> that would be really good. Man, this is skill. that's actually so fucking embarrassing for Neo. Like, yeah, it's one one thing to lose the game, but you just like ha go and do some real fucking grief build when you're already lost. Maybe this is a game that River just starts blaming. Straight up, he just loses his goddamn mind. He's like, what the fuck is going on? My AD carry is building two Sheen items. My top laner is getting his ass pounded every game. Yeah, I... Dog engage. Bot lane, I make like a hero gank happen and then you guys die to like a really easy to predict gank. Sure. 
Yeah. I fucking lose it on you guys. But they're still better than TSM. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Wait a second. Talking about fucking dude. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, uh, it's it's called Goliath. I'm pretty sure. Uh huh. I'm looking it up. So yeah, I went I'm pretty to sure the the Goliath like you routinely pass out on. <laughs> I went to Six Flags with the team. And it's like it's like big boy roller coasters, right? Like Disneyland is like I'm already scared. I'm like literally like shaking when I do Disneyland stuff. One to six flags told them I'm not going to any roller coasters. And went with went with TSM like four or five years ago. Um and they told me, okay, there's actually a baby roller coaster called X2. And so I, I get in, get in line <laughs> with them, I'm like, okay, fine. This is the one roller coaster I'm gonna do with you guys. Uh -huh. And then right as I get strapped in. Fucking anxiety attack. Someone turns to me and says, "Actually, this is like the scariest roller coaster at the park." And I'm like, "Oh my god, yeah. really? <laughs> it's so bad!" And like, <laughs> I'm just screaming. And there's a. I'm done counting. <laughs> this is the photo. The second photo is me. I'm actually going to. I think I'm going to die. <laughs> you actually got debated. Yeah, I got. <laughs> it was. I'm not gonna lie, it was a funny ass prank, but I'm I I am seriously like I'm about to explode. <laughs> Jesus. I mean everyone is actually having the time of their life. Yo, holy what? shit. What the no, fuck? Can't afford streaming anymore. Let's fucking go. It's good, it's good. And I've and, and never had so that much emotion for anything in my life. You're fucking <laughs> Yeah. No, I was so scared. And and it just so happened that this guy who was running the roller coaster, like letting us in, was a fan. So he downloaded the photos and posted on the TSM subreddit. Yeah. Otherwise these never would have happened. Yeah. That's fucking That's funny. That's so funny. God damn it. Once she give you that gok gok. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> One thing I we haven't talked about yet is the draft, and I really, really dislike Evil Genius's draft. Like, I think their draft is dog shit. And half the games that they play, I think their draft is terrible. Well, yeah, I don't really understand what their team's meant to do. They are super short range, so they can't. I don't see how you plan on team fighting against Jinx, Victor, and Brom. Holy shit, Golden Guardians is. It's, it's a horrible Kaisi game. The, they're whipping out played... the dark tech early, dude. Yeah, it, it's like you're playing Kaisa and your soul laners are Rise Grapes. Like, this, this is horrible. It's, it's horrible. Rise is a 1-3-1 one one character, like a 1-3-1 one one champion. Um, and, and Kaisa is, what, just gonna hold it on mid while your boys split push? Graves has literally zero synergy with Kaisa and they have no... They have, like, no threat on Jinx. I think when you play Kaisa Nautilus, you kind of want to lean into, like, a comp that can kill the backline. So, you know, you can you can play high range mid laner, maybe like an Orianna, or you can play like Akali, you know, and like Kaisa and Akali can just like pressure Jinx so she can't do any damage. This game, I feel like Jinx is just gonna take over if she plays like a human. Like lo like Victor and Jinx are just gonna be untouched every single fight. I, I don't I don't I, know how Eva Jinx is gonna team fight ever. I, I th the only thing I can see working for EG is if they are just opting into playing pure split, in which case I do think they need to play for dragons early just to deny Golden Guardian's soul. Like, yeah. if you get first two dragons, like we were talking about earlier, you don't really have to group. Yeah. Um, But if... You if could. I think if Golden Guardians just gets early dragons and forces EG to fight, like, they're fucked. What the hell is happening with the production, guys? Oh, dude, we're just back on the fucking default yeah. Yeah. spectator UI. Wait a second. What the hell is this build? From Danny. Isn't this the normal it's, AP one? Wait, you're, you're griefing, man. This is completely normal. <laughs> is it, though? He's not... He's no tier right now? Yeah, Nine I mean, minutes, I... 40 seconds, no tier? Isn't that pretty I troll? mean, I... Uh, I don't know how much he based with. You know, maybe he got a Dirk, and then he bases 700. In that case, you'd buy two daggers or two longswords, not a tier. But two I agree. Two daggers? Two longswords. I'm pretty sure he's griefing. It's like... Fucking going literally any champ that builds tier and just avoiding the tier. I mean, we'll Wait, see. Still late gets it. Yeah, that's okay. not. He's not going AP. Oh, I see. He's gonna go. Uh, probably Gale Force Collector. Yeah, I think. What is the best Kaisa build? I was playing the full AP version. It's pretty fun. 
Holy oh, P scales this. the best IMO. Nasher's one has the best like feeling, but then it falls off after you get Nasher's because you're just like in a trough for a while. Yeah, I feel. Like, like full P AP mean like no full, Nasher's. Full AP right? just multiplies so fast. It's like, okay, I managed to get to like, I managed to get to like three items where I have like Shadow Flame and, uh, and Ludens and like I didn't get punished. And then once I finish my Rabadons, I'm fucking Faker. Yeah, that that's how that feels. But then the other one is like, oh my god, I'm like permanently I'm one item behind the full AP build because it feels like Nashers is kind of like not an item. Yeah, you can't really fight most of the time when you have that anyway. And then Nashers is yeah. like, oh, but I can auto, but I can't, because that's how the fights play. I can't auto. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Like Nashers almost has counter synergy with the way you play AP Kaisa. You yeah. you almost never go in unless it's just a plasma sh one shot, like RW plasma one shot. Yeah. So, uh, but I, I I do like both, and I think it depends on how hard your team is relying on you to scale. Isn't part of it for the upgrade? You get the evil. So I think yeah. e upgrade as e upgrade is like honestly useless most games. That's how I feel. On the right? AP like, version, yeah. On the AP version, like, because the AP version is basically is basically like the most uninteractive type of leak that you can ever play. You're never actually in range to die, but the enemy is always in range of getting one shot by your W. Because if you hit one W, then you can RW and, and like cast your W mid uh, mid dash and just straight one shot somebody. <laughs> so it's pretty cringe. Or, or if you're like close enough and have enough CDR, just two Ws will proc your passive on them. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think the E is pretty nice defensively though, because even if you are trying to play far, like it is people good. can run it up on good. you. Honestly, every every single Kaisa build seems good, except this game. The reason why Danny's doing uh, physical is because if he goes AP, it's really Grace is the only physical damage. I think Volley's like half half, and then he he's... just he doesn't really deal much damage after early game. Yeah, he's not a damage dealer, so it would be a bit troll if he went AP this game, and then the enemy team could all just itemize MR. Uh, I I don't I don't know what's up with the Kaisa stuff. It feels like it feels like on one hand people are people are like more butthurt on Reddit and Twitter about this Kaisa build than I've seen in a while. But at the same time, the build's not really that popular. The AP one. I hardly see it in competitive. Yeah. I don't see it being played mid anymore. I don't see it being banned. It it most of the time actually just completely falls through draft. Like Kaisa has some serious weaknesses. Yeah, before she's you get so to the point where, <laughs> yeah, before before you get to the point where Kaisa is actually just like lobbing these like 900 damage Ws cross map, you have to play with a Kaisa. Like that's the problem. The Kaisa is just not going to be very useful until she reaches like God mode, and then there are other champions in the game that are also God mode, like Jinx. But like those champions also have like other redeeming qualities that Kaisa doesn't, and Kaisa has like. Redeeming qualities that they don't. I don't know. I, th I think she's honestly okay. It feels like bullshit sometimes when you get two-shot by her W, but like... What the fuck, Licorice? Wait, what the fuck? Oh my Did God. he like misclick his E or like what happened there? <laughs> I don't know what he thought was going to happen there. That was awkward. Okay. This looks like a play. Oh, that's... He's dead. Yeah, that's a Boom. play. Boom. And full. Oh, full of air tower dive. Oh, 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 oh nice top Very watch. nice top watch. But now, Ooh. another stopwatch by Mr. Bulchkin. Huh. Oh, wait, he's running commencing stopwatch full of bear. I kind of like that. Wait, Jinx just solo killed Kaisa off screen? Oh, wow. I want to see that. How exactly does that happen? I Kaisa didn't he... flash or ult? I think he went for a solo kill under turret and he fucked it up. Yeah, he probably fucked it up. Probably got trapped under turret or something. Kaisa is actually. Kaisa's like a really good solo tower diver, actually. She can, like, auto W. And then back out the turret. I I I bet I bet he did auto W or auto Q. Back out the turret, and then he wants to ult back in. Let's see, auto Q. Oh no, Danny played that like total shit. Wow, he really just dies to this. <laughs> oh, Danny just played that like total shit. That's all there is to say. He shouldn't W unless he's ulting, because then it's unmissable. Yeah, that's a pretty bad one. Oh man. 
I feel like a blaze olive gets caught so often. It's pretty. Especially bad. This game. in the last, <laughs> like in the last two minutes, he's been caught so many times. It's fucking common as hell. Jesus. Uh, the last golden, the last golden guardian games I watched, a blaze olive is perma caught as well, and then they well, had that replay with high where he's just getting caught mid as Victor <laughs> as well. It's like, is it really that easy to die when you're playing Victor? It doesn't mm, feel like it should I, be. I think if you're like trying to trade with the enemy mid laner and you're just completely unaware of people then you can die but it, it is pretty troll to do that he's if you're asking just playing for safe it. to clear the wave i think it's hard to get punished oh it's a trap it's a kill it's a kill it's a kill bye bye i i guess jojo also doesn't like to be alive mid laners man loss Always is pop few. do you like the kraken jinx or do you think he should go gale i like the kraken i like the kraken i'm a kraken fanboy he looks good here all, in all situations or uh no not at all but i think most games kraken rapid fire feels the best yo sneaky did people in my chat earlier were saying that liquid gave up on the world first race echo just they... killed it too oh they did yeah they legit just killed it like a couple minutes ago Oh shit! Oh wow, why did wait? Why did T Liquid give up on the race? I, I'm confused. Max tweeted about it. It's like they're giga drained, and they I'm pretty sure they knew they lost, so they're just gonna like chill. I think they were just completely burnt out. Yeah, like like no one is having fun anymore. Oh, like yeah, I mean normally the world first raid. race is like w one week or like just after reset, but this was like three resets. They're just it's taking way lo longer than they expected. I see, I see. Oh my god, they're fucking dead. Jesus. Damn. You e just cannot team fight in this comp. You really can't. They shouldn't even be trying. It's yeah. really... It's super worrisome to me if people on EG think they can team fight looking at these champs. To me, I don't think there's any reason you should even look for a fight. Like, sure, you can win it if the other team plays it horribly, but you have so many better plays that you should be attempting first. Oh yeah, no, 100%. I think Golden Guardians comp is a traditional front-to-back, right? And like, the, the logic has always gone, like, when an enemy team is playing a front-to-back comp, the comp does not function unless both those pieces are together. Like, if it's all- if it's just like, a bunch of tanks with not enough damage, they can't team fight. It, or they can't fight. If it's just the damage dealers, like, if it's just Jinx and Victor standing together, they're probably not Wait. gonna team fight, so- Jojo's what trolling. What the hell are they thinking here? Why like, would <laughs> you ever walk up first with no flash? I don't know. Get your team to walk up for you if you really need to check. Danny just got almost completely soloed by Victor Alt. Like, he just got ticked That's down by Andrews. That's a strong ability, dude. It <laughs> is, it is. I, I feel like Victor has always kind of filled yeah. the role of, like, the mage who just fucking murders your backline if he can. Yeah. No, I think so. Victor and Ori. Yep. So much backline power. What do you think about getting caught here? You think that was a good decision? Do you think maybe not getting caught could have been a better play in this instance? <laughs> yeah. Hey, dude, right, uh, those so... few times that you died, maybe, like, if you didn't die, that would be better. What do you guys yeah. think? Let me know in the comments. Comments okay, below. I, I like how Ichi's not walking into this dragon setup. They're at least splitting for now. I think they could have maybe cleared Baron Vision. I guess Rise is so fucking weak. Normally, Rise has a lot of threat of just sneaking a Baron but not with that. A little bit. Kowalski, analysis. It's actually crazy how late this man immune is coming for Kaisa. Like, when yeah, is he going to get the tier? We might be seeing a sixth item. Man <laughs> immune. Damn, that's just nuts. Can't believe you really opt into delaying it this hard. When do you go AP on Kaisa here? Soon. I think you can't play all... without three evolves. This is like a bit of a fucking stretch, but like I have a th feeling that maybe if you're gonna go AD Kaisa, you just don't go Hail of Blades. I think Hail of Blades has good synergy with the AP build because you like burst people and run away. But with the AD build, especially when you're up against so many tanky champions, I think like it might be a fucking. Yeah, it's kind of just the. Or... It's like the laning thing is, like. Yeah, it's definitely good in lane. It's super but... bad in lane, is all. It is pretty shit. Agreed. 
So like, you're I am taking curious how like, uh, how like lethal tempo. What about like grass for the undying? Oh, Ooh. dude, definitely massive play right there. Damn, GG's just gonna flip this shit in their face. I don't hate this play though. It does kind of just do. force the issue. Okay, I, I you, like that like, Worst case scenario, you're getting a pretty well positioned team fight. Yeah. That's a good stop. I don't think they Licorice. should be running in. I think Licorice is kind of playing with fire uh -oh. here. Okay, at least he flashed. Wait, what? Uh oh. What the? Oh the my god. He's got that the jump. hops, dude. Got the hoppy hop. Wow. Are you guys think there's, do you guys think there's enough wards around this barren area? No, I think they could use a little more. I think they need a bit more vision. Golden Guardians shouldn't get carried away, though. Like, when you're playing front to back comp, you don't want to just fucking run at the other team and get kited. I feel like that was a really far NAR jump that Licorice did over that wall. Yeah. I wonder how no easy that one is to do. Shot, man, that's so easy. Is it? NAR's jump's pretty fucking short if you don't hop on someone's head. I'm pretty sure you could even, like... I was gonna say you can maybe Lucian dash that, but I'm not sure. I don't think so, actually. It seems pretty fat. Ah, uh, I want to go in a custom game and test it, dude. Pretty thick. Oh, oh baby. Oh. Ride Stalker. He's ready to go. Wow, that root timing was so inspired, couldn't even press R. How did oh. that doesn't even work? It's just a target him with rise. Or wait. Oh, oh wait, no, I'm an traps? idiot. It's traps. It's yeah. traps. I'm a dumbass. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I was, wow, I was like, really well timed traps like, during the zone. Yeah, how does he do uh, it? I thought it was. I thought it was like an Everfrost or something. Because so I was like, what's rooting him? And then I, it Incredible took me a while. Incredible display by Jinx there. I was yeah. thinking rise for a sec. I'm like, how would he target him out of a Zonia? He can <laughs> stop time. I feel like Evil EG is a prime example of like how much draft actually matters. Like. I feel like pound for pound, they're probably better players than Golden Guardians, like pound individually. For pound. Yeah, like if How you, much if you were to match, I don't know. Well, Danny seems pretty, pretty skinny, so he's dragging down a little bit. But they, they, they actually have like good players, but they, they just have like fucked up drafts all the time. I don't know. Yeah, man. it. It the thing that's interesting to me is like obviously I don't know. A whole lot about how inspired plays but like you were saying he does seem to be more of a carry jungler and i wonder if like their team would have operated better with like sven scaring still on it more of like a supportive role because huh. yeah that's i mean I, I i'm obviously not blaming inspire like i think he's really good but just the way the team's trying to play it's like they keep ending up with these really uncoordinated fights like where rise is face checking that kind of stuff It's funny that EG is actually doing worse this split than they were last split, even though they, like, spent probably a metric fuck ton more and their roster is a lot more hype. It's yeah, I mean, weird. like we were saying, they they lose a lot of games that were winnable. Like, they, they rarely just get shut out. Even this game, I think they were in a pretty good spot and just sort of threw it. One thing I've noticed about JoJo in Champions Q is like he's kind of one of those players. I mean, he's he's obviously really fucking young, right? Like he he has a very deep voice and he has like sort of like a mature demeanor, but like he is very young and inexperienced. So like he's the kind of player because he was built up from like solo Q and he came up so quickly, he will just take any like any fight is a good fight. Mm. Um and he can obviously pull that off in Academy and like he can pull it off in solo Q cuz he's just straight up better than everyone else in like his his competitors but then I, I wonder if like that's affecting them negatively too because like when you play champs that just suck at team fighting but like you're maybe he's i don't even know if this is true right but he could potentially be somebody who's like calling for fights it's like you're just being too optimistic to the point of just like you're just not playing probably the yeah your comps win con anymore yeah, and I think it just comes down to the approach as well. Like, I don't even think in this game, like, EG should avoid ever fighting, but they just should avoid fighting five versus five front to back, which yes, like, you have a lot of yes. options outside of that, right? But they just yes. keep, like, seeing Golden Guardians grouped up and being like, yep, let's fucking yep, send this it. Is good. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely do not want that. Uh, there's definitely an art in, like, 
forcing enemy to react to you and like putting them in a really bad spot to fight and I... yeah you should just make the game feel really hectic for them make it feel like they can't actually get to group but but i think that clever kind of play where you're like tooling people around split pushing and stuff is not really that prevalent in like modern league it was it was really common in like early seasons when split pushing was a real threat and like it was like an art to pull people to your lane and to like play in vision and fog and like just be very clever in side lane. And I think NA is more known for just like straight up A ramming and just like permanently butting heads because that other play is like harder to pull off. Oh my God, they barely- Yeah, I think part of it too is back in the day, like it's important to remember that there was a lot more vision available. Like junglers and supports would have sight stones. There was, you'd almost always know where the other team was where nowadays, especially off a of fresh reset like it's showing eg's vision right now like they just don't know where golden guardians <laughs> is at and all he's dead. <laughs> and yeah and then you know you try to get vision maybe maybe one of your teammates is like not there on time so you're not ready to immediately fight Please, I'll die but i don't even think they should be fighting here so it's just they're fucking dead oh my god a place definitely can be so harder to do useless. in practice than just talking about it yeah oh they're just sending it. Dude, Braum is actually so fucking good oh, against oh, Graves Rise, oh, oh, oh. too. Yes! Oh. Six. Oh. Damn, dude. You think Ole's embarrassed to have to resort to Braum in Spring Split? There's not even Worlds online. He's already breaking out Braum. It's like, <laughs> kind of BM. That's pretty dirty. <laughs> Olsen, did you guys go over the kill? Oh, oh. Hold up. Hold up. They don't end now. They That's end actually now. a huge throw. El Gravo. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, maybe they Endless. do end. Unless, yeah, Licorice maybe ends this. What if Nautilus stops him? Oh, there's TB. Yeah, it's, it's fucking Look bad. at him, dude. Look at those autos. Wow. Big Anchorman. Oh, shit. The hook. Woo! Impact went surreal to those graves. Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a thing. It's really hmm. good. Yeah, like it really makes good. his W slow. It's pretty good. His his Q. Oh, wait, was... I mean, Winston Lower Dom just way more damage this game. No, no, I I, th I think Cerulus is legitimately good. Like mm. when you press when you Q somebody, it, it slows them enough so that you guarantee hit your R. But also, um, I don't know. It just it just feels fucking good. Like you can you can like five man slow the enemy team with your ult as well. If you, if you see a, like an angle too, it's it's good. I. I don't, I don't Ooh, think someday I versus summit. You guys. This is a good test for someday to show if he's like, you know, is he just better than an A top laner or is he actually like fucking got the biggest dick out there? Oh my god. On Sama over Berserker. Everybody's list but double lifts. Yeah, where's my list? And then you put some Fuck goddamn up. respect. I know, they really do. All right, what do you think you're at, Sneaky? One to 10, inserted you into LCS. Oh, oh, you're here. Wait, they, I'm here. Oh my God. And they didn't even show Sneaky or me or Tactical with bad mental. Yeah, Holy what the shit. fuck? That's not even the real list. Oh God, they're the double just plagiarizing list. my list. <laughs> what are you saying? Where do I put myself? Perfect. Yeah, where do you put yourself? I, you mean like if I was playing? Yeah, if you're playing. I guess just uh, let's just say you after you've been practicing for a few months. Because obviously right now there's no way uh, that you could compete with people who are playing fucking 12 hours a day. Yeah, I mean so the thing is, it's like the way I see it is everyone in their own mind will always think that they're the best, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe that's just you because you have a big ego. <laughs> I don't think so. But, like, you know, there's always some factor to it that's like, you know, they just play a different way so they'll look better in certain things. So, like, when metas kind of, like, shift in that favor of that type of style, then those players will, like, shine more. So, like... yeah. That that being said, like if I was to play, like I would always put myself in like you know top three, no matter what. 
not if I'm like obviously shitting the bed, but like you know when I'm playing and I'm playing well. It's a top three. I mean, a top three is always just like, yeah, you know, like I can have a good game. I like my worst game is never going to be like I'm feeding my brains out. I'm bringing my team down. Like I'll I'll never bring my team down in those situations. So if you lose it, for Sneaky never thinks that he's fault. better than Danny. Okay. Clip it and ship it. Sneaky thinks that what I'm every... hearing is he's saying he knows it's never his fault that he loses. It's always his team. Would you yes. say you're not better than everyone on the list? I don't think so. I think I'm a better AD carry than all of you noobs. Do you actually think Zerker's that good, Berserker? I like I think he's pretty good, but like if you and me were playing, I'm pretty sure we would make him look like shit. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wait, okay. Wait. Look, the Berserker is kind of different, honestly. He, uh -huh. He's pretty fucking insane. Uh, I'm not going to lie. He, he's he's really good. Nah, I don't know if dude. I would make him look like shit, but... No, he, literally... I think he's he's going to fucking clown on this He's Korean in my boy. spot. He's in c 9 spot. Like, he's just taking over. Like, he, if he was in a LCS and I was still in, he'd be getting dumpstered. He'd be like the fucking OQ guy that came over. Like, oh my god, this <laughs> super prodigy. It's just like, yeah, I'm gonna shit on his face. Like, he's not actually that good. <laughs> Sneaky, I've never heard you Damn, so cocky that's the in most... my life. Oh what? my god, what did Berserker do to Sneaky? I've no. literally never heard <laughs> Sneaky flame someone quite no, like that. Like, actually, straight up, never, never experienced this side of Sneaky before. Uh, Unironically, like, I am so confident in my own skills when I'm gaming, but like, I don't, I don't like shit talk people because. It, yeah. it's not, I don't. I don't think people are bad, but like, I I think I'm better than them when I'm when I actually care. <laughs> wow. All right, dude. Um, honestly, that's what I want to hear, dude. That's what I want to hear. Some fucking confidence. I, yeah. I I respect that. I respect that. Isn't she not that good right now? Like with the nerfs. I don't know exactly I think what they were. Zerker popped off on it yesterday, but everyone yeah. else is beating. I think uh -huh. it's still it's still broken. The nerfs are unnoticeable in my opinion. I can't I can't notice them at all. It's like you get a little less stacks on your ulti, but you're still fast as fuck. Uh the E cooldown is only nerfed when you like put points in it. But like I was always maxing W second. And now yeah. you can definitely max W second, obviously, but Yeah, I don't know. I just the nerfs just don't feel noticeable. Like she got I think the hardest one is like minus five AD early game. She her early game really sucks. That's Biggest problem. Five AD, Jesus! What the fuck? Yeah, it's pretty bad. You just took a flat five off. <laughs> but then they added five pretty damage big. to her to her Q. Mm. Or something like that. So it's just I don't know. It's just weird. Uh -huh. I think I think the champ is a one v five champ, and the snowball potential of it is so crazy. Because when you get ahead, you can do anything. You can just fucking. Ooh dive you can go side lane you can engage fights like you can just you can do everything and you're Wait. so hard to kill Wait, they just insta locked counter big mouth fight dude they <laughs> they are they are gunning for the one holy shot shit carry somebody's strat. not gonna fucking ego pick what the fuck i love it i love it <laughs> they actually just knew it's coming or something that was so yeah. weird well, I think their strat here is they open Zeri intentionally and they want to play like TF Malphite to shut it down. I think the, the mm. to counter that, like my, my issue with that is really just like of all the AD carries in the game, Zeri's probably one of the hardest to actually kill. Like, yeah, you can you can probably start the fight, get her to low, but you're probably not going to kill her. I think what some people have been doing against Zeri is just picking so much frontline that Zeri can't do anything, even if she's hitting you. Hmm, that's interesting. True. I think there's like still so much Zeri potential that's like not unlocked yet. Like, um, I think like for example, Bork is really, really strong on her. It oh has yeah. Incredible it, synergy with all of her abilities, and it it's seems like, like a good ass item. Yeah. It's just a great item. Yeah, and it's like you're triple Borking people with the runons, and it's just. It's just this great item. I love getting triple borked. Of course. <laughs> okay. You can just count when you're almost there. <clears throat> yeah, what if he starts here. E double lift? What do you think? I'm, uh, yeah, that would be really smart, man. Why doesn't Zeri like... start E? <clears throat> well, double lift, take the fucking Vader, not, god damn it. 
That's a great idea, Sneaky. No wonder, man, you have so much confidence. You just come up with the best ideas. <laughs> Dude, I actually got mind fucked when I was playing Zeri. I was like, I. Oh, wait, this is actually level one. Is he dead? Oh! Yeah, yeah, when I first was playing her, like on my second game, I was mind fucked. So I was like, I swear to God, I haven't actually put a point in my Q, but I somehow have Q. <laughs> yeah, because if you don't have Q. Well, no, it auto it auto forces the point. Like it just puts it in yeah, for you. Yeah, you start off with Q. Yeah. What, what's another champion that starts off like that, where you have to Azir. have that ability? Oh yeah, right, Azir. But it doesn't it's like W. It doesn't it like make make you put the point in. It didn't start um, you with it because Zeri it starts you with it. I like, I think you're I think locked Azir starts at a you with it, point. doesn't it? Honestly, this matchup seems a bit miserable for Zeri early. I keep playing every Zeri matchup, dying early game, and being like, oh, makes sense. That champ's just way better than mine. How did, mm. how did he already get a recall off without being down farm? Zeri actually is really good at the uninteractive lane, so he, she's actually very good oh. at pushing. Oh, oh my god. Gun. Holy shit. Wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Slapped in the ass. Oh, I must still be ahead of you guys. That was a Hashinshin fucking single ass grab. Oh. Damn, no TP as well, so that he's got fucking. It's over. Jesus. It's actually Summit's funny. Summit's been like, in A too long. Summit, Summit's a uh, number one champion. It's Jace, right? Everyone always counterpicks his Jace with Malphite in Champion's Q. And then. And he'll, he'll sometimes feed because it's like so fucking annoying playing against a Malphite. This game, it's like same shit, man. He's playing an AD carry top lane. They just insta lock in Malphite. Oh my he god. He didn't flash that. Yeah, he didn't. He wasn't ready. Yeah, I mean, he just gets fucking mm. toasted. Yeah, he does get toasted. Malphite is actually the hard counter to really high skill players. Like, just play <laughs> oh, that it is. shit. Like, play, play shit like Malphite. Play shit like fucking <laughs> Malzahar. You think he was slightly tilted because he. Legit missed yeah, the cannon yeah. right there. Yeah, he, he actually missed two cannons. Like, I, I, an earlier one as well. That actually probably had the mental effect to make him not flash the Malphite error. Yeah. It's like, oh, fuck me, and he gets ulted in that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Malphite's a fucking... He's really strong. He is really strong. And this is a good game for him, because it feels like the enemy team has very low damage. You know, Ari's not going to want to use her combo on Malphite. Um, I don't think Viego or Zeri are going to really do too much damage to him until later. So, does seem like a good pick. Oh! River fight. Malphite, no ulti. Lee Sin's level 5. He's, Lee Sin's just out of here, level 5 to 6. And he's not fighting that one. Maybe Closer's leeching XP for 6, but he's going to have to get I a full I think they're trying wave. to bait Blabber to gank here. Can they manage it? Oh, Summon has like very good awareness. He doesn't walk up on the next wave. He knows that he doesn't have control of River, so he does like the safe walk around ward. He That's is really also good. against TF too, right? Like TF is kind of hovering there. That's true. Oh. Here he could just die. Close is about to hit six on these two last next two melees, so. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> and he's gone. Oh, Damn, god. bro. Closer just waited. <laughs> Summit actually was so, like, cautious about it. Yeah. He thinks, no way he's still here, right? Bastard. <laughs> That's, That's so the patience play. Good. That is funny, man. I There's nothing more doomed when, you, when a Malphite gets fed, though. I get so fucking sad. Because when Malphite is fed, he's actually a hard carry. Yeah. Like, he'll just solo kill people. And be unkillable. Yeah. Everything champion. Engage. Damage. Tank. They do get Herald, though. Well, I actually blinked. What the fuck happened to Herald? Yeah. Am I, like... They just they, they took it right after the play. What play? But, but 100 Thieves. The summit was the one who died, bro. Yeah, yeah I, I know. C9 just walked up and took it. <laughs> yeah, what the uh, fuck? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, didn't, I didn't register that thieves... was happening. <laughs> yeah, I didn't register. Like, Because 100 Thieves leashed it. Malphite yeah. insta walked over and started beating Harold's ass, and they just suck and gave it. It's weird. Huh. 
I mean, I guess it on my outfit are, but... Oh. Oh, he oh, did the QR a... thing. Good engaged by Mr. Who he. Mm. Not oh, really this looks, the thing, This looks but... insane. This looks insane. Ooh. This looks good for 100 Thieves. How would I get my flash on him? Let's see. Nope. Never mind. Some champs just... Have it easy mode. Oh, wow. He's just going to get his ass beat. This is crazy to watch. It's going nuts. Who, who would have guessed that Malphite counters 80 carries? Uh, uh, is he just going to get solo killed here? Of. Is he just going to get solo killed here? He is, right? He like, lets him get like one more Q. It's just, it's just ulti, and if, if someone doesn't react, it's fucked. And, oh, he's so fucked right here. He's so fucked. And VA goes on... I think someone should just take this death. Just, just fucking eat it, man. Looks like he's... He's leaning that direction. He needs, like, one more fucking Q, though, before fight. To get a clean kill. Uh-oh. Bye-bye. Oh, that's Wait. Southwatch. Oh. Disaster. Wow. That's a good RQ. Dude, the Herald's not crashing either. Look at the Herald. He's AFK. Uh, oh, God. Oh, no, got, he's gonna go. Don't, I don't know, dude. Sometimes you put the Herald down when it should crash, and it just just the dumbest shit. So tilting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dang, dude. It feels like I, it should I don't ignore. like C9's chances if they fall behind, too, because like their comp is fairly snowball-y. Mm -hmm. That stopwatch fucked him so hard. Yeah. Dude, he was so low. Yeah. FBI had a really thick ult, too. See, the chances are getting worse and worse. I think they have a saving grace because they got two drags. They can play to either, you know, if they get really lucky and they get some kills, they can keep stacking, but they have like this two dragons of grace period where they can keep farming. I think the real problem is like when you fall behind against a hard engage comp like TF Malphite. And I, and all, all these champs actually hard engage, to be honest, except for Aphelios. Um, it gets it can be like really hard for you to split and farm because they're just gonna force while you're just like not around. They're just gonna threaten dives and keep taking objectives. So usually yeah, when you fall behind, you want really to trade objectives for gold. Vision. Yeah, I don't really see the angle here. Um, it also doesn't help them at all that like FBI and Abadaga have clans, so they don't have like a really easy play to make. It's yeah, I don't. I don't know what the move is. Next time, just ban Malphite. I think that was just kind of the pick here. Maxing or don't Malphite solo kill killed summit. by him repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, that's true. true. Yeah. But it's definitely good. Fast damage. Oh, yeah. Beat that Malphite's ass. Oh, dude, you guys are fucking him up. <laughs> you will lose. Oh, man. Blabber's just in the middle of nowhere right now. How is he just being so aggressive? 1v4. Oh. What the fuck? Summoning with Blabber. the flash hook Wait on sec. blue. Oh, S Summit? Summoning Wait. Blabber is straight up running it down. Like, Did he I, just be in? Yeah, he's yeah. just tilted. What the fuck? What is happening here? C9's losing it. They're losing huh. it. Yeah. Wait, they're all Blabber's dead. just going, or B Berserker just wants to fucking have fun huh. now, too. All oh, right. Wow, this is what ugly. What in God's G name was that? GG, I guess? Fudge had TP and opted not to use it there as well. That's, that seems strange. I don't think I mean, that there was anything to TP for, right? Like, there was no actual, like, spot. Like, someone just killed himself, right? With yeah, this yeah, play... I mean, it, it's just the the desync, right? I, I feel like if you are going to be taking an all-in fight where you're committing, then you would want everyone there. Or if you don't want everyone there, you aren't 
committing to an all in. I think yeah. what this play embodies is honestly just desperation. That's all it says. Like watching Summit I mean, play. They, like they this, have the pink here, right? Desperation. Like, <laughs> this looks like a fairly <laughs> solid TP angle for Ari. I don't know. I Go mean, back. I guess they don't have to fight. Like maybe they can just get out, but yeah, that that seems just like they're not playing together at all. Because that would be a number advantage fight with Ari there. He, they are pretty low. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that's fucking weird. Yeah, it, it is super weird. Like, oh, I don't think Fudge needed to TP there. Like, there's no reason for Sian to fight, but because they fought, oh, sure TP's the play. Oh, oh one man up fight ulti. Wait, nothing okay, though. Guess one of these two ahead because of that. Yeah. Why fight this, man? Like, I, I, I know, like, I know that a team is like feeling desperate when they're just doing shit that just like doesn't make sense. If you were to just slow the game down a bit and have, like, if there was like a timeout and they were able to actually like think, without emotions. Yeah, it's it, it's it's like too I, emotional I agree now. with you. I think they're feeling really pressured because Summit just keeps getting like, fucked by Malphite. So they're yeah. like, oh man, this isn't working out. We've got to do something. I mean, this and then is, looking this at is the Zeri's score. game to carry. Like, just send Zeri top, let her get top turret, let her get a shit ton of farm. You know, FBI is going to be committed to drag. Like, maybe you get some sort of split map situation. But instead, it's just like, oh, we just lost the team fight. Now let's go to drag and 5v5 them again. Like, no, of course this is not going to work. And now everyone's. Oh, wait, this is a winnable fight for C9 because there's no ulti. Some days, no ulti, there's no kick. Oh man, nothing, I guess. Just everyone walks away. No, 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 that's not. Oh, is it real? Mr. Oh, it's Rock real. Man. It's real. Oh, Robert they get the reset. Rock man. <laughs> but. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, and no. Malphite is not the most useful <laughs> body to possess. <laughs> I think Summit wins these. Kind of need to Man, get I really wanted to see him just one shot FBI somehow. I know. <laughs> it was like that been almost. fucking awesome. Yeah, I mean, the kills definitely probably make C9 feel like this game is completely fucked. Like, looking at their stat lines and stuff. Yeah. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not an unwinnable territory still. Yeah, I mean, the drags are actually good. Yeah. I think time is on 100 Thieves' side, though. I, I, I'm not really sold on... C9 really ever being able to team fight? Maybe though, because I would say if there's one thing 100 Thieves team comp lacks, it's damage. TF is not really a full threat by himself, and Aphelios can get zoned or just like not do a lot. Mm -hmm. But um, I think as yeah. long as you're not full on running into Aphelios, he's not like Jinx level threat where he definitely he just not. can't play Somebody the game. Just completely wasted his ult there. That was uh, maybe he thought he, there was more people coming. He kind of would have gotten dumped. Like, Ari cleared yeah. the minions. Save, save, save his health, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ari ulted as well. Yeah, it's not the worst trade. And, like, what I like now, it's like, finally, C9 is, is making what I would say is, like, the right macro decision. Like, the enemy team is just brute forcing. So, what should you do? Like, you should trade objectives, right? Like, you should try to trade one tower for two, even though that's that's you know supposed to be bad for you it, it's just better to trade any sort of gold than none at all obviously if it's like three for one that's not good but here it's like they get one tower and i think they steal a camp and on the other side summit pushes and gets two camps of his own and i think like when you exchanging resources like that then a 4k gold lead goes from really important to not that much but i, I think, think a full side of the jungle is pretty big too like just resource wise it's like worth yeah a couple waves yeah, for sure. It also creates a lot of uncertainty. Like, for example, right here, the person who can be first to mid is actually Summit and not Malphite. But obviously that didn't manifest in anything. It, it just, would be oh. incredibly sus for Summit to walk mid from there. But I guess he could. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. He got him. So fucking bad. It. Leona, Leona got, the got the shutdown, shutdown. though. That's yeah, that is very so, sad. so bad. Oh my god, and then they just get clean. Yeah, GG. 100 Thieves is too good. Wow. Who he's hooks? Or is he? Uh -oh. oh, Blabber. Hooey's hooks. Malphite, Mr. Rockman, Rockman. Yo, oh, wait. 
Oh. No kill TF? Oh, okay, yeah, Zonia. Yeah. Damn. This looks pretty doomed for C9. The score's almost 420. It, it, yeah, it is a fucking disaster. I kind of... Yeah, I don't know. Is this the first game? Wait, I... Summon has just straight up fed in? Wait! Oh, Blabber! Oh, Wait. he gets the reset! Oh, oh, but it's a bad champ for it. Oh! Yeah. Ouchie, ouchie. Didn't he have another game recently where he got booty blasted? I saw him tweet about it. He was like, sorry, but my team carry, too good, or something. Hmm. That sounds familiar, I don't really remember. Um, do you guys think they can contest this? It seems like they would have to misplay pretty hard to lose. Uh, mm, yeah, I mean, if Aphelios' guns are kind of shit, I guess. Yeah, but like the HP difference is too high, they can just, Ooh. yeah, just walk out. <laughs> They're just stalling for her. Zeri doesn't have suck. ult. It's probably doomed. Yeah. Oh, God. It's like, there's, there's just so many opportunities for C9 to make a choice of like, yeah, we're just going to like, we're just going to kind of like let them walk where they want to walk and go somewhere else and funnel farm onto our Zeri, who's like probably our only hope of winning the game. But what do they do? They run into a grave side of the map and just like die. Just try fighting. I, I don't know. At that point, I think you should just say, Graves, your job is to like put Malphite ulti on CD. <laughs> like... That's it. If if you if you can make Malphite ult you and turn the game to a four v four, then like you're kind of smurfing. You yeah, just get hole breaker and run it down side lane repeatedly. Yeah, mm -hmm. actually, I, I think when you're zero five, like going between between like going zero five and zero ten is like almost nothing, right? You're not really giving up much gold. You're worth nothing. Yeah, I mean, might as you well. You kind of just want to keep su you kind of just wanted to keep doing like the bow style, like suicide to pressure slash farm when your team can do something off of it. Even if you just die for a wave, but like let's say Zeri gets like an enemy jungle camp or something, I think that's totally worth it. Because yeah, mm -hmm. you're, you're actually Found, worth uh, less. It, than it's a not wrong, camp. but it sounds fucking comical. Yeah, it's it's, 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 it's troll as fuck. <laughs> it, it actually sounds troll as fuck, but like I, I like playing with players who are like okay with like when they're having a bad game, like not trying to preserve their already shit kda but like just doing what they can with their with the situation they're in look at his damage Tender. on someday <laughs> oh my god oh. Oh. <laughs> pretty oh. sure if someday had a bramble oh. he would just be killing berserker <laughs> no yeah he's kind of he's kind of owning him right now this is funny man does zeri not have other build options that let her deal damage to tanks, or is it just too trash so, if you build like that? So like, I, I I think that the Titanic Hydra is pretty fucking strong, but there are times where it's good to go second item like Bork or Witsand, or probably just that Bork or Witsand, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe sometimes BT is a fine second item, but uh, people too just down. like Titanic. Gives you, gives you damage based on HP and Trinity gives you like some HP, so it has extra value there. I don't know. I think they're just too behind. Yeah. Gold gap. Do you think that there is? Have you have you watched the um or have you read the Ole thread about Champions Q and how he feels like LCS players are lazy and, and they don't really grind? His tweets. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he also said some, some stuff on that made it on Reddit on his stream. He was like making a notepad about how, like, you know, not a lot of people are grinding Champions Q, and like, he, he, he's like confused because he doesn't really know what the LCS players are doing after scrims. You uh -huh. know, at least playing like three games a day is, is enough, but like, some people are just not playing at all. Um, he basically just went in, in on it, and he's like saying, like, it's weird because in Korea, um, playing after scrims a lot is like expected and then people are complaining about solo queue quality in NA and finally you know this thing comes out that's like way better than solo queue obviously it's got a downside of like longer queue times but there's a good trade-off I guess and uh you know it comes out and like still a lot of people just like don't play they just like don't want to practice in it um 
and he was like just upset about it because it's taking him a really long time to play to like get games because there's just not enough people playing it. Anyways, I, I was wondering what you thought about it because obviously you, I I I I've never like I didn't really know you that well when you're playing when we're both playing against each other, but. Uh. The one thing I did know about you is that after scrims every day, you would just turn on your stream and play League for like seven hours. And it's more like four usually. Oh, well, I mean, whatever. Back, I'm, back then, the scrim schedule was also way different and we we're actually playing like way more scrims than people are now. But yeah, the point is that you would you would you definitely were known as like a huge yeah, grinder because you like to stream and like pretty much the main thing that you stream was solo queue. So yeah. like I would say like me and you and among those like some other players obviously are like you know we were like LCS players like American players who played a shit ton. Do you think mm -hmm. that people are like more lazy now? Um, practicing less. Yeah, it it's hard to say because some of the people are playing on like secret accounts so you know most of them are tracked right like you have their like actual account id so then whenever they change their name you can still follow them and like you don't have infinite accounts as a pro like you're given the accounts from riot and once you're found out you're tracked forever uh mm -hmm. so i don't know how many are actually like people playing on secret accounts versus people that just don't play i just assumed that most people that weren't like sh obviously playing like on a main account that i'm just like damn i never see this guy in the solo queue anymore i just assume they're like on a secret account that i just never really pay attention to their name with uh, but i mean mm -hmm. if, if people are actually not playing i, I think it's just a, a given like i i think when you are a pro i think about four hours of solo queue is enough a uh, day like i think that's the most you should play and that's also like the mm -hmm. minimum i think it's like a perfect number because that, that personally for me that gave me like they gave me two hours where i could do whatever um after scrims and then also like you know you do four hours of playing solo queue i think i had depending on how much sleep i would get i would you know have like an hour or an hour and a half after the four hours is solo queue so you know, about yeah. three hours of, like, my own time a day. Um, yeah. And, yeah, you, you, know, you, you have, like, the in-between queue stuff, too. I sent you something that you can... It's, like, a video that you can, like, scroll around to see all the different teams and their team averages and, like, how much each player played of Champions queue. So, I think what you, what you can all assume is that no one's really playing solo queue anymore. Um, uh -huh. if, you, if you're playing League after scrims, 90% of that time is in Champions queue. You're... I don't really understand why you would ever really want to play solo queue as a pro player anymore. Um, and I've, I've not really seen any pro players playing solo queue except at like 1am when they can't get a game and Champions queue is about to end. Sometimes like I'll see like Afro queue up a solo queue game. So I'm looking at this and you know, T TL 20 games average per week. That sounds okay. You know, I'm okay with that. Golden Guardians 24 games average per week. That's okay. Then I say like fly quest at 15 and I, and like it's pretty hard carried by Jose. Um, you know, 12 games, 9 games, 10 games a week, you know, that's that's one and a half games per day. Like, how is that, how is that okay? Um, like yeah. I'd say 20 would be like the bare minimum. 20 games a week is like two to three games of Champions Q a day. That's going to take you two hours after scrims. So I would say, you know, two hours, okay, fine. Like, I'm, I'm going to give you a fucking a pass on that one. Immortals, like Wild Turtle playing four games. Evil Geniuses, like... Danny and Inspire just didn't play this last week. Their average was 13. Like, this is... It's, hmm. like, not my favorite fucking uh, thing to see. And then the, you go to Dignitas at the very last, and they have an average of four. Straight up, like... <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Everyone has their different reasons and stuff, but... Oh, my God. <laughs> it does feel like... What do... Yeah, like, Ole's in my chat. What are they doing? Guys, like I'm, I've, I've been a pro player for ten years. I know what people can do after scrims to improve. You can watch replays. You can do one v ones or two v twos in custom games. You can play solo queue. That's it. Yeah. Other things is like team bonding, going out for a team dinner. That's going to take you an hour or two hours every few days. What are they doing after scrims? I don't. The the answer is 
they're probably just relaxing. You know, they're probably having a life, hanging out with friends. Um, they don't really want to play league after a long day of scrims. But yeah, the the thing I will say, it's a bummer. Like, I think the current scrim schedule is different, where they switch to the like the five game schedule, right? I think that's been a thing. I mean, if, um, if I had to I'm not updated currently on it, but. If they ever do like a you know like a quote unquote third block anymore, uh, you know where before it was like you would do two blocks and then you do the third block. It, like on those days of third blocks, like I think solo queue was legit impossible. Like I think trying to play yeah. solo queue after third blocks was just griefing yourself. So I don't know how many teams are doing that. Like if those are the numbers with no third blocks and they're not playing solo queue, like yeah, those. Those players are fucking trolling. Like, yeah, you, you, you I, cannot be like in LCS trying to be competitive, playing four games in a week. Like, that's just grief. Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, maybe there is some third blocks going on, but from what I understand, like, it, if we like got an interview right with Danny or Inspired or Blue, who didn't play any Neo Biofrost, he played four games last week, and and like I could ask Fudge, he played zero games. Um, Turtle played four games. If I, if I like got these people in an interview, right. And I asked them like, so why are you playing so little? I feel like every single person would have a different reason why, like, oh, I've been, I've been really stressed. I've been really busy. I'm doing other stuff. I'm doing alternative forms of practice. But like, I think what was mm -hmm. interesting about like Ole's post is that like in, in Eastern countries, there's no excuses. You just play. Yeah, yeah. Like you just fucking play. Like it, it just it's a no brainer. Like I don't it doesn't matter if you're feeling like shit. Like all they said in my chat, like Faker hates at Korean solo kill, but he plays ten games of it a day. <laughs> like, <laughs> like you just have to. Uh it's it's pretty fucking weird to see that. I'm having so much fun playing it, and like it's a shame to me that some players just like kind of refuse to play it. Um mm -hmm. Was there a player in specific you were talking about? Like I mean, a pro you can who's just... not playing at all? You can just look at it. I, I looked at it in this list. chat. Like you can scroll, yeah. and like some people, I tell, I can tell that they're working hard. And there's a correlation. Like the people who play a lot are usually guys who are fucking good. Cores played 29 games. Santorin 24 games. Ole played 31 games. He's playing really well. Jose played 26 games. Like you know, the people who practice a lot are usually good. Luger's the best player on CLG, and he plays the most Champions Q. There's a correlation with practicing hmm. and getting better. Yeah. So yeah, I, I feel I, like I, I don't feel for sure. sympathy for these people because I feel like back. I mean, you weren't here for the contracts hasn't been playing very much. Yeah, it's like back when we were playing. Right, what what was expected of us is after scrims we queue up solo queue for a few hours, and I feel like for some reason that is no longer the case. It is not a requirement for you to practice outside of scrims anymore. It's like considered extra credit, but like. I, I what remember, do people you know, do if they're not playing league? I think I don't know. If anything, like it would to me, it would just be like the bottom feeder teams that like wouldn't necessarily care if you're not playing after because it's not like you have any hopes anyway. But like that's just such like a depressing environment to be in. How are you gonna pick yourself up after uh, being a bottom team? Like you have to practice harder than your competitors. Like if you're if you're already less talented than Core JJ. And you're practicing less than him. You're never going to be better. It's like just so obvious. But you know, obviously, everyone has their own personal reasons. Maybe they're having a rough week or something. But but like this thing that Travis posted, he posts it every single week, and I, I've been keeping track. You know, I've been I've been paying attention to like how much people are are playing it, and uh, and, and so for for me, an average of twenty one games per week is everyone playing three games per day. If you don't have time to play three Champions Q games per day, you don't deserve to be a pro player. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't see how you wouldn't have the time unless... That's like, two hours. Average. Yeah. Like, you, know you can just games... knock out four hours one day and then take so, the next day off. How many games do you play So what week? do you think of a player, if they're not playing Champion Q, but they're playing solo Q? Do you think that is just way worse practice, or do you think that is an acceptable alternative as well? I think... Like, okay. if they, for some reason, really dislike Champions Q, like, whatever their reason is, like, I think it's fine. Like, as long as they're actually playing solo Q. Mm-hmm. Because I'm wondering yeah. if, like, that 
if the players who aren't playing champion queue are just playing a lot of solo queue. Yeah, that, that's what I, I was said. reading through the Twitter comments and someone said like Danny, for instance, just doesn't really like champions queue. It feels too try hard, which I can kind of understand. Like, I definitely think there are times when I want to just queue up, like not really communicate with my teammates, just like try some new shit, like focus on some specific part of play. And I feel like that's better in solo queue than champions queue, where it seems like, you know, just another scrim. That's totally fair. Actually, I was going to, I forgot to mention, and this is like, I, I, this is a huge thing that I should mention is like, Spica told me that on TSM, um, they have solo queue requirement by upper management. You can guess who that is. Um, they have a solo queue requirement mm -hmm. upper management, and they don't count champions queue games. So they need to play. What? I think. Oh, really? I think they need to play five solo queue games per day. So thirty-five right, games of solo queue per week. That's so and troll. They, and even though the players want to play champions queue instead of solo queue, the the like upper management doesn't really understand it. I, I think that that's, that's really grief. That's that's, 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 that's like a sort an of thing that is rule. <laughs> yeah, that that so, is so I'm out of them touch and awful for your team if you're making rules like that. That's just straight up sabotaging your own team. You could yeah, do yeah. literally so Shendi, nothing and be more effective than that. Shenji has like <laughs> fucking a shit ton of Champions Q games, and I think it's because he doesn't give a fuck if like the management's mad at him because like. The management is like pretty shit, and I don't I don't think he really cares about his relationship with them anymore. Um, so I, I don't think Shen Yu plays any solo queue, and he just plays champions queue and says, "Fuck you guys, I'm literally grinding all day, streaming all day. You can fucking find me if you want." But uh, <laughs> yeah, I think for the rest of them, they are uh, they are definitely their hands are tied. Oh, yeah, hopefully that, they that's... change that. <clears throat> yeah, I think well, I, I think they're eating I think a handwarmer. I think Spika actually really wants to play it, but um, he he can't, or he gets in trouble. Legally obligated to play solo queue. Yeah, there, <laughs> I just I don't see how that could possibly be a thing. No, I don't understand it either. It's like, dude, you you'd rather play me pl like five games of something that I uh, that is worse practice, or four games of great practice. Like, why why what is going on here? Yeah, I was gonna say, you know what it probably is? Is like no one's really been around long enough on TSM to like counter something so stupid. <laughs> yeah, but like when Speak when... is kind of in there for a bit, so maybe not. No, I think that I think that the management treats Speak as like a whiny little kid and yeah. not really taking him seriously. But like when it was when they had like people I guess like Bjergsen or me or Parth or Lena, then there was somebody to like kind of like stand up for the players. Yeah, exactly. But, um, <laughs> now they've they've essentially removed everyone who would stand up to something like that, and so there's three people who play basically zero games. <laughs> so crazy, man. So crazy. Two down. Absolute yeah, grief. I don't know about that one. Yeah, we we actually did have a, a farewell dinner for Parth because he moved, and then uh, Lena just ran my chat. Like, speaker came late because. He had to finish up his required solo queue game. <laughs> and, then we, and then we interrogated him. Me, me and Soren were there. We're interrogating him like, how the fuck you still have to play solo queue? Like, you're not just <laughs> playing Champions queue all day? <laughs> no, we can't. Crazy, it's man. Pretty crazy. Good. Whenever I talk about this stuff, by the way, like, I feel like I, it's almost like it needs to be a long-winded discussion because I don't want to come off as like that bitter ass, like, Back in my day, you know, we we all worked super hard. We all streamed after scrims, like fucking uphill both ways to the office. That that, it just feels like we're just bitching. It feels like we're salty. Like, oh my god, they're so mad. They're not playing LCS right now. But I feel like if you know, you know. You know, like every LCS player kind of knows that the work ethic was better four or five years ago. I, I really think it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. I feel like salty boomers when <laughs> at least initially on like C9 and stuff and it was only really high who wasn't perma grinding and we would give him shit for it all the time but it never like had to come from any of besides the players we all just kind of fucking played a lot yeah it's it just was, what you do it was like an yeah. ex expectation on ourselves yeah and he and like the first few seasons, I, I always felt like if I 
stop playing for like an hour if I was playing another game. I'm just totally wasting my time. One thing mm -hmm. I want to ask is like, um, I want to get somebody who's like really in touch with like LCK or LPL and ask him like, what? Um, is there a discussion with the community about like work-life balance? I feel like that's so important it to uh, American discussion. It's like, oh, well, I really hope the LCK LCS players are doing well mentally and I hope they have like a good work-life balance because it's really important not to burn yourself out. And, um, you know, it's really important to uh, do something other than just grinding all day because then, you know, your life is like super out of whack. And I wonder if that's like the same way in Korea or, or, or China, you know, do, do, do people care about pro players like, overall well-being or do they only really care about their performance yeah it's be interesting to read yeah if they ever have that conversation Ole says playing a lot is normal if you don't grind hard in korea you don't deserve the spot blows but what about the community perception i always felt like there was some sort of like nobility and like sacrificing shit for your own improvement you know it was like i'm making a sacrifice yes but i don't feel forced to do it like i want to do it if if it's painful for sure like i'd rather go outside and fucking hang out with my friends but or like play other games but um sometimes like sacrificing and then you feel the progress it like feels rewarding yeah i almost feel like the the probably at least eastern asian players and like the top players are just like fucking addicts like they don't have to fight that because, mm. like, I, I usually talk about, I feel like I was super addicted to League until, like, the servers moved. And then, like, I just couldn't get over the ping. Um, But, yeah, and I never felt like I was, it was hard to give up other stuff. Or, like, I was making a sacrifice. It was just, like, yeah, I don't want to do those things. I just want to do this. Yeah. I think that's probably more common in Asia. Because if, if you feel like you're constantly battling against, like, what you want to do... I don't think that's going to end well. You got to like literally want to just no life it. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> Do you guys watch fucking Faker when he streams like the end of it? <laughs> it's just like the most business way to fucking end a stream. He just shuts off his PC and walks away. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You can just see the PC turning off. <laughs> It's so Wait. fucking funny. <laughs> he does, Seriously, how, like, he doesn't even say goodbye. How is he streaming his PC turning off? I yeah, don't know. It, that's just how it is. It just He just streams the PC shutting down, and then it's like, oh, stream's gone, I guess. <laughs> just walks Wait, away. It, like, you know they see him walk off cam. Yeah, he's like, all right. He just ends the game, fucking puts the shutdown button, and walks away from the PC. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> it's so funny, yeah. Does, does Faker ever interact with chat? Like, does he ever read his chat? He has a... Yeah, I think so. He has a translator, too. I know he which, has a translator who writes insane. the English stuff. Like, I, I I watch his stream, um, but I don't know if I've ever seen him just, like, read a comment in chat and be like, nah, fuck you. Uh, I don't know if he goes, like, back and forth, but more, like, gets, like, a consensus or, like, res kind of responds to, like, an idea. Hmm. I oh, said Faker's a streamer zoo know. creature. We just fucking watch him in his natural habitat. <laughs> yeah. Dude, what the fuck? He just straight up... No, he straight up reports the Draven. Like, this <laughs> This one is so funny. Go to the very end and just back like 20 seconds. He just reports his teammate for like multiple things. Like, he's like trying to click as many of them as possible. And then just shuts his PC down and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> like the very end of the stream. Oh <laughs> yeah! Right at the end of the stream, he just sucking. Oh my god, dude! I, I, it's so fucking funny. Oh my god, dude! Legit, just the most business fucking stream ever. I'm He's here really for my four hours. Support. Where is he going? Like, where where is he going to? I don't understand. He gets up from CC. What's the move? Like, is he going? <clears throat> is he walking home? Like, I don't know. He's just fucking gone. Well, done. <laughs> huh. He just he just starts walking. He doesn't know where he's going. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. He just knows he's not on that PC anymore. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> Fucking him out, dude. <laughs> 
done with this shit. I I can't believe that you actually watched the end of Faker's stream, bro. Like you're probably the only one I've ever heard mention that. Dude, it's so funny. Like if you just tune in, he's just randomly gone. Or like you watch him get up, and he's like, "Oh, where'd you go?" And it's just PC turning <laughs> off. Like what the fuck? <laughs> True. Sure. Who's comp we liking better? Um, yeah, the, the Soraka is actually pseudo counterpicks in the Tom, right? Wait, I, I really yeah. like that Huni has fucking ignite, dude. Yeah, that's epic. You know what's actually crazy? It's two one trick top laners playing against each other too. Oh shit! Jenkins, it is Jenkins Cannon. It's Jenkins Cannon. This guy, from little backstory, his name used to be Bob Jenkins, and anytime you had him on your team and he was playing Cannon, you're gonna win 100 percent of the time. If he's playing anything else. He's the worst player in the game. Like this guy started off as a Kenan one trick with a terrible name, and uh, he did. I don't. I don't think he's really. I've, I've seen him play Kenan in competitive. Wait, what's yet. wrong with Bob Jenkins? That's a fantastic name. Why is his name so Bob good. Jenkins? His name is Thomas. <laughs> I don't understand. Why not? It's it's Wait, Bob really? Jenkins. Does it need more explanation? <laughs> I, okay, you're right. You're right. Doesn't need any explanation. I didn't know his name was Thomas. I kind of assumed. Yeah. Wait, you thought his real name was Bob Jenkins? I, I don't know. That's just, such a fake sounding name. I mean, Bob's a pretty fucking generic name, yeah. Dude, it's yeah, like, why Jenkins is Danny's is like name? Jenkins. Why is Danny named yeah. Danny? His first name's Kyle. <laughs> it's just, it's so bizarre, man. Yeah, that, that one's grief. Two griefers. Dude, this is just the jungle route nowadays, I swear. It's always red raptors, romp. Six, seven, eight. Got it. Got oh, it. Jenkins is getting owned. Uh, slap and slap. Oh, wow. Flash on. Oh. Is that the kill? He actually could die here. Could. High potential. Oh, wait. No way he lives. Oh, my. Wow. It's Bob Jenkins, dude. That's too Jenkins good cannon. cannon. This is Damn. the power. Jenkins Cannon is just. It's different. I thought he was going to die there. I like the sneaky, sarcastic could. Like, he's obviously dead, but he just, like, randomly stuns out of nowhere. It dude, dude. I, it was pretty close, but, yeah, I, I don't know. That was so hard to tell. His I didn't red even buff realize ran that out there was and two stacks. He, he yeah. didn't, like, get much damage from the EQ combo over the wall. Two yeah. points it's in It's not really w. his fault because he doesn't know exactly where he flashed, but... On Jarvan? Huh? W Max Jarvan? Oh, that's that's a mistake. That's not good. That's a misclick. He probably mm. didn't realize he hit level four. He probably thought he was like just at level three or something. Yeah, that's. That point. I've that done can't that be before. Real. Hmm. Oh, oh, and he's oh getting my! Stop! <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, Shen Yi might be dead here. Oh, Might no, be? he's not. Another close duel. Another one. That Tom Kench W into traps is actually fucking brutal. Jinx Tom Kench is insanely strong. I think it shores up Jinx's weakness early. And then Tom Kench doesn't need to worry about being useless in teamfights because she, he has a real job to do. Oh, it's speaking like, of no flash. Oh, Ooh. that barely hits on the. He, oh wait, wait. He what? doesn't die. Soraka is so broken. Soraka, Soraka is so. Soraka is two OP. Soraka is two OP. Dude, what is this is game? So broken. Wow, dude, 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 dude. No, Soraka cannot be balanced. This champ is so gross. Like, dude, he looks so fucking dead. Spiga. Oh my god, dude. Oh, dude, it's also the fucking W Max Jarvan. <laughs> he knew. He, he knew, knew he needed he it. He knew it. How much more does he get though? Is it like what? Like fucking twenty? It's so bad. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm, let me see. It unironically could have mattered. Let's see. Dude, it definitely mattered. Holy shit! One it's second, tw it's twenty five. Yeah, that's fucking wild. Oh, they didn't check the pink. Talking about driving W. 
Yeah. Sneaky, this is just like when you didn't understand the concept of infinity. I think your brain is just I'm a little, a little tired. different. You've been a up a while. A little tired. Oh, the Ooh, flash! flash <laughs> what a fucking dirty way to get killed. The 80 damage flag. Where the fuck is Shinny? Why is he a still picture? He's been... Because he's playing from the dungeon, because he's not been playing solo queue. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't he have COVID, so he's probably not with them. Does he? Yeah. Maybe they gave him COVID because he wasn't playing solo queue. Oh that my was his God. punishment. Jesus yeah. Christ. That's so fucked, dude. Just for wanting to play champions queue. <laughs> Do you guys punishment. think there are laws against that in California? Like, are employers allowed to give COVID to their employees if they're not doing what they want them to? <laughs> Is that an unethical practice? Hmm. Sounds pretty Sorry, ethical. I zoned out. What What did you say? I was saying, is it legal for a company to give one of their employees COVID as like a punishment for for not doing what they want? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like there'd be rules against it, but I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I. I it seems like something I'd probably how fine. Do you, how do you give them COVID though? Start coughing on them? I, I don't know. Uh, find, you just, find that's someone with COVID. With blood. You could just like have somebody on hand with COVID. Like you could have them infect your guys. Yeah. <laughs> someone on hand with COVID. This person just permit has COVID. Or yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Like maybe you have like like two guys who are just bouncing COVID between each other, so you always have someone on hand. <laughs> Keep the mm -hmm. debuff up. <laughs> <laughs> I could see something be like that being frowned upon, but like, not the Which worst. Which part? Oh shit! Oh god, is Shackle gone? I guess Soraka. Ass. It's Soraka. It's Soraka. It's Soraka. They actually lose. They actually lose. Welcome he, to Soraka. He has healed this entire time. Yeah. And Soraka has all. Dude, man, how the fuck is this kind of gameplay ever real? No, y like you just tank an entire other person's combo and you come out ahead from point and click heals and shields. That's yeah, yeah. Like, how, how is that? How is that real gameplay in League of Legends? That's the dumbest shit. Here's the difference between Soraka and Yumi too, is like, when you play with Yumi, you feel like actually pretty weak in terms of like fighting power. But Soraka's the opposite, like she doesn't scale as well as Yumi or have like the same fucking like face roll, like run at them, just turbo sped, but I don't know. I, I like playing with Soraka a lot more because you actually can like just curb stomp 2v2s. Wait, what is? Oh. Oh! Wait. Huh. Soraka! No! Soraka! Oh, it's a disaster! It's what a happened disaster. to the lead? Did he hit the wrong person with Q? Uh, Did he not hit Rumble with Q yeah, before I think, ulting? I think, I, think he, I think he Q'd the driver in an accident, but Soraka actually saved Huni there. That's a fucking bummer. Yeah, dude. This, yeah. It, her ult removes Grievous as well. Yeah. Not that like, there was a Grievous, but it does. Yeah, it's very champ dependent. Like, I think Kennen would always take TP though, just because mm -hmm. he can get something so fucking good later, with the flank. Yeah, or even ignite on Kennen would be good. <clears throat> How about Ghost? Yeah, probably so. Oh, kill contracts! contracts? Oh! <laughs> oh. Contracts actually might. Whoa. Man, I don't know if eight champion Q games enough for that Lee Sin play. Oh my god. That was pretty fucked up. Welp. That was... I don't even know what to say. I actually don't know what to say. It's... Everyone needs to triple their Champions Q games, I think. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Like, it's just it's just crazy now. On both teams? Hmm. Even nah. if they didn't have a Soraka, that was still a troll as fuck well play. Well, I think Huni could triple his games easily. Yeah. It wouldn't take Zero. any time at all. <laughs> I wouldn't have to do anything. Dude, do you see Speak of Thumbs Up contracts when he flashed in? He was just like, what the fuck are you doing? Really? Oh, oh yeah. my god, man. Look at the look at the Tom Cancer. He just eats AD carry and says, abandon shit, boys. I can't it's even imagine what what's going through all the players in this game's head. Like, what what is contracts thinking at the time? There's no way he's saying anything other than like, oh, fuck. 
<laughs> yeah. Like I inted. Yeah. Just because like, what just... the fuck <laughs> is this guy doing? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if your contract's teammate, you're just like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Who's our academy jungler? <laughs> that was a pretty fucking Jesus. gauge. It was troll as hell. Jesus. Is it, so this is a must win for CLG, and they're and they're they're fucking doomed, or what? Yeah. So they're playing like. like it's a must lose. <laughs> yeah. Contracts oh good. Contracts missed the memo. <laughs> I am not the biggest fan of BT second on. <laughs> wait a minute. On uh. Speaker's build. Wait. Damn. Oh my god. He's he's having fun. He's having fun. Damn. He if he loses because he's troll building, he's the biggest fucking clown. Yeah. Umbral does feel nicer clearing wards, but those stats on Jarvan in this game where you're like you're you're literally your team's one front line, is. Unbelievably troll. The whole idea of having a Jarvan is so that you have someone who's tanky enough to frontline for Soraka and won't die in one like CC chain. And to be yeah, fair, I think I, Umbral I, helps you accomplish uh, that. Yeah, definitely not. But maybe he. What's the dagger for? That's what I want to know. What's the what? What does dagger build into for Jarvan, guys? Let's put. Start thinking real fast. Is there any or fucking wits end? I think might be the least troll. Yeah, I, th I think he's trolling hard. I hope he sells just go, kidding. just go Focus fucking visage. Go visage. It's so broken with the Soraka. I think with Soraka, if you go visage and you're in revitalize, yeah. it's just it doesn't revitalize double dip if Soraka and the person she's healing have it. Ooh. Oh shit, Shenyi kind of running it down. Can they? Punish? Oh my yeah, god, can. he's yeah, actually it's trying reset, to it's lose. Reset, it's, reset. Oh it's fine, he does like a billion god. damage. Oh. Never mind. TP, Vex is. Oh, double TP. Double TP on top. And Huni has no ulti. Why did. Oh? Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Is it a double int? Perhaps? Oh. Oh, yeah, it's double oh. Int. oh my goodness. Huni, no flash. There is a little Blanc teeping, and this looks really doomed for CLG. Yeah. Oh, hold up. The Jinx traps. No, Jinx needs to crit here. Zeri is so OP at these kind of fights. Extended, long fights like yeah, this. Yeah, this is her fucking bag. It's and actually it's juice. They over. can't escape. Yeah, but can they kill was... her? Oh, TSM was trying oh, to CLG win. Tactical. That was close. CLG got a little bit too excited. They did. They did. Garvin sold his dagger for a GA. Coward. What? Oh my god! That was some damage. Were they full when they TP'd in? I don't think so. I was I gonna think. say, like... I don't think they were full. Holy shit. I think they just they, they just took a bit of damage on the way uh first play, but yeah. Oh yeah, wait, LeBlanc did hit them on the TPs. That's what it was. Wow. Zeri. I don't think this was a horrible play by TSM though to go for like LeBlanc chunking them into their rumble ult. Yeah, definitely. I like, the, like, I, like I don't think look. that was super expected to happen. I like the like, look that's, for sure. That is pretty weird. Chain of events. If they weren't super behind, I think that was a really good play. Oh, oh, he got killed by fucking uh, Titanic there. Oh, Emacs second on Zeri thoughts. Yeah, I, I dude, I think that is troll as hell. Like, what does E actually do, guys? It makes your pass through damage deal more percentage. Like, how oh. is that good? Oh, oh, GG. The engage. Not a good engage. And Unfortunately, Soraka is just getting some really well played heals here. Shenyi is just a monster on this Soraka. He's hit every single W. How can he play so well? Why is Tactical so obsessed at dying when they're about to do the game ending push? <laughs> like he's actually he doesn't want completely it to upset. End. He, uh, well, to be fair, they're out of playoffs, so it doesn't actually matter. Does he play a lot of ARAM? That's actually a, a habit you can get from ARAM, because like you don't want to end the game, so you try to die. I see. Banger. After a TSM victory, I am joined by Jungler Spika. You have another match against TL tomorrow. I mean, for me, I definitely really want to beat TL just because Bjerg left us. Uh, 
like a rat. Um, <laughs> like a rat. Them, it'll be really, really great, and uh, it'll be... What a fucking rat. I guess the highlight for my season, at least. Uh, so I'm really excited for tomorrow's game. Ooh, Getting first live. strike Oriana. I'm convinced <laughs> POE has, like, some sort of self-imposed rule that he cannot run the same keystone more than once. Dins contract. Yeah, I can see that. It's funny because he really leans into it, too. I remember his NA ID was uh, Nash's Tooth because yeah. he's doing Nash's Oriana with Zerka Greaves, and it's like he knows that it's weird and that people will call him out on it, but he still has so much confidence and so much, like, belief that I guess what he's doing is is better and 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 you know he's he's being really thoughtful about the game you know he's being innovative for the game and maybe that would be good if you didn't just look at how objectively bad half the shit he does is yeah it's it, i think he takes a lot of pride in not like following the meta builds and like you know yeah. on the off chance he does do something different that's good yeah like really gets off on it and just Either doesn't recognize or doesn't care when it goes horribly wrong. Yeah. And I think it good. does come down to, like you were saying, you know, so much of being a pro, like you only have a certain amount of time in the day, even if you are practicing as much as you need to as a pro. And it comes down to like, you know, do I want to put time into learning or like brush off my Lee Sin, who's a really versatile champ? Yeah, oh or, no, or the, the dragons. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Oh my god, but he lives That's because so of Bart cursed. Portal. No, it's it's like bad that it got stolen, but at the same time, they are very lucky to be alive there. Without. I mean, they still had flashes. True. Jesus. Actually, yeah, they all had flashes. Damn, how how did it reset like that? Oh, Poe missed an opportunity. That's a free flash blown. If he had just walked up and ulted earlier. Oh god, that was just very ugly. Double like, stun. Ult, Maybe his first strike wasn't up, so he didn't get full. He wouldn't get oh, full ulti value true. there. God, what a disaster <laughs> that would have been. <laughs> no, but um, what you're saying about Vi where she's super snowball Karsa built her like full um, CDR tank. You know, one of the least reliable strats. Yeah. Oh, are you serious? You don't flash Ooh. that? Ooh. Bye bye. Okay. That's um. And that's he got full those... first strike value, I'm pretty sure. That was just the most value. True. Very true. Um,. That's one of those things where if you don't play against Tom Kench bot lane enough, or like just play against Tom Kench enough, you think that you can like run out his W, but deceptively fat hitbox. Getting clipped by the edge of Tom Kench W is like the oh. number one way I die in lane. Ult out, Wait, ult Arrow, out. Missed, Arrow missed the cannon for that. You dumbass. Oh Bad. no. Literally, Literally practice two it, minutes. Though? Two minutes I into mean, the custom I, game. I don't think it's particularly hard. I think if you do it a few times you can be pretty quick yeah okay but if you've never done it then yeah you're probably not gonna do it too fast i suppose oh oh, oh the bard bard counter, Carol cuck. Bard does he counter. die for it though yeah uh he, he's dead sure looks like he's it dead man is it worth it nothing Your is more soul. tilting than getting a herald cucked by bard yeah, it's a real bummer. What about killing the bards, dumbass, for that sin? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that seems a little bit tilting. unreliable. Mm -mm. They did have a good setup to fucking punish him for running there, though. One thing I don't understand about Arrow's play is he doesn't really seem to care about farming. Like, he's like mm -hmm. the only AD carry in LCS who seems to just, like, not value farm. He He's kind of selfless to a fault with that, I would say. He's definitely like really chill if you are like, yo, dude, drop this wave and come do this thing. He'll be like, okay. What a god. Oh, but dude, he's, oh my god. He was just in the right place at the right time to punish Bard there. <laughs> they so I can't, knew I can't fault timing. him for that. He knew. He had the trap set up from earlier to fucking punish. Oh my god. <laughs> Arrow had like really 500 like IQ. Yeah. He was a good teammate. Eaten alive. Oh, dude, did you guys see the Ravenous Hunter change for next patch? No, what is it? They're just legit getting rid of it. And like they're replacing treasure it with hunter? Some treasure hunter shit. What is that? I don't know. It's like every time you kill 
someone for the first time, you get extra gold. Interesting. I I don't hate it. Um, I think there's too much sustain from runes, like Conquer, Legend Bloodline, and it's just it's making the game feel um, unintended. Too many unintended things are happening, like. Some yeah. Deep champions are being drain tanks, and eighty carries can heal from zero to full off of one wave without having any lifesteal items. Pure yeah. damage build, full <laughs> HP healing off of a camp. I hate it. And yep. like I, I abuse that shit. I always go ravenous hunter, but I think it's dumb as hell. Oh. Poor Takui. If only he took phase rush against Trundle. Fate Rush is just the difference between Perma dying and never dying to them. Yeah, it, it, Phase Rush actually invalidates half of the old champs in the game. If you think about champs like Nunu or Trundle who just walk at you, or even Nasus, we we're talking about earlier, it's like, oh my god, why don't people just play Nasus? You can just walk at them. It's like, dude, that's because you're Nunu. playing against you're playing against Electrocute Zed. Actually, sorry, not not even Nunu because this shit is totally different now. I but, was gonna say you might be forgetting about Nunu and Willem. And, oh, yes. The Willump, though. And, like, I'm just I'm just honestly mindfucked sometimes that Immortals can, like, do a good play and still not have tempo for the next play. Still, all I five just... players can show up late to the next play. Yeah, it's a bit of a heist from FlyQuest just grabbing Dragon like that. Like the game was going so well, it's almost it's almost worth it for you just not to go for that kill on Victor if it's gonna lose you third drag. But like obviously that's that's not the right way to think about it. The right way to think about it is kill Victor, but make sure you're on time for the objective. It's so basic. It's like this is like League of Legends 101, and now they're gonna delay their win condition by another five minutes. It's just giving Jinx and Victor more time to scale. Yeah, <clears> I think I think Immortals is one of those teams that would benefit a lot from just reassessing their priority on Dragon. They seem to kind of consider it an afterthought. Like, they got won this game by stealing it randomly. They just lost one mm -hmm. by just literally being late, like you said. Mm -hmm. It's it's so much more pressure on the enemy team if you just quickly stack Dragons. Yeah. A lot of times you get more than just the Dragon as well. Like, you... Oh. Oh, great. Ouch. Ouch. It seems like Afro's just kind of clueless this game on where the enemy team can be. He's not invincible bar. That bard. was a pretty weird play. 16. He sees Oriana top and there's just a fucking Abelios with purple gun in the bush. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I will say though, Arrow's been in some weird ass spots both times getting him killed. That's two deaths to Arrow's grab gun. And like, Arrow is in some weird ass spots. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> And... Speaking of which, just has to flash Gale Force out. Yeah. But it's a 20. trade yeah. with Jose. How much of that's on him and how much of that is on his oh. team? Not sure. Johnson's in trouble here. He has flash, but he could get chased. Ooh, or huge Tom W. Slurped up. <laughs> tell me that Tom Kench is balanced, please. Just just tell me tell, tell me this trade face that Tom Kench is okay, the way he is. Yeah, that, that's what they're debating. You're listening to the casters? No, they just showed it, like a tweet about their conversation. Oh. Initially. Wildfrost well, always calls it they, a Coco, they, even when he's not using that skin that makes it keep, a Coco, he'll say. Yeah, they, they keep zooming in on it too. The Coco. That's funny. <laughs> oh, the Gale Force. I actually kind of forgot about that again. Like, oh, oh. no, it's Holy okay. It's okay. Just eat him and walk shit. away. Uh oh. What? Oh yeah, just Af walk away. Johnson. Oh. I can't see Arrow's health bar. I don't know if he's dying or not. No, he's not dying. And holy shit, did Johnson actually take that portal on purpose, or did he misclick? I, I think he had to. It's the part you're not. <laughs> Understanding. And seventeen. <laughs> you know, Yo, okay. It was on purpose, right, guys? I, I, my brother was asking about this strat the other day. I think he saw a video on it. Have you guys ever played with the Chogath and taken advantage of the fact that the other team can't click on you if you stand under his fucking massive hitbox? 
Oh, so that is funny. So you just have funny. an 80 carry, and you protect him by just having a huge Cho'Gath sit directly on him, so people just can't click you. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. No, like, I've... I've never really seen someone deliberately abuse that super hard, but it sounds so dumb. So hold on. So the strat is like to pick Lulu as well, and then also have like him buy Elixir of Iron before the game winning team fight. Yeah, I mean, Dude. you have so many modifiers on Cho to get bigger. You get like the fucking ice the form size increase. You bigger. Yeah. Gregus is better. I don't blind. know if you'd want to blind Cho'Gath. That sounds pretty sus. But realistically, in competitive, even if like theoretically a matchup could be really bad, it's it's rarely the case that someone just gets blown the fuck out in lane yeah. to the point where it's insta lose. Pee-wee's builds is what I would describe as too lit. Too lit. It's just too lit. I would expect a sheep like you to think that way. <laughs> I'm looking it up on the site. It. Uh, oh my say. god, are they gonna do it? Whoa! Holy fuck, all it took was them accidentally getting some dragons and they can win the game now. And it's free. This is incredible. Alright guys, what if we all didn't hit the inhibitor? Then I think we wait out. for all three inhibs to spawn, then we try to get the nexus. <laughs> oh, dude, it was it was actually one second away from that happening. The top inhibitor was forming during that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, lads. I cannot survive. I'm at 23 hours. <laughs> That's a long time. Yep. All right, I think I'm going to call it a day, too. <clears throat> GG's, yeah, boys. Yeah. Alright, GG's, GG's. See you guys tomorrow. Yep, see you guys Later. tomorrow. Later. Peace.